So I just done, so I just got done watching Naruto Shippuden episode 500, the finale, and the marriage of Hinata and Naruto, and oh my god, <laughs> I'm not the kind of guy that could just watch finales in general when it comes to animes, and the fact that I grew up with this series, this... Even though there's Boruto coming up in like, what, two weeks? This, this hit me harder than the motherfucker. Um, I don't even know where to begin. I'm just gonna just say what I like and what got me. Basically, everything. The animation, of course, was on point. It just seems like ever since the end of the Fourth Great Ninja War, the animation has been great for a studio parent um, anim animation. I did expect... I could have sworn we would have saw like the entire ceremony between Naruto and Hinata, you know, the whole you may kiss the bride and everything, but it actually ended from them leaving out to the reception. I'm honestly just lost in words, you guys. I honestly don't know what to say. Like this, it hits me hard. I mean, it's just progression. I think it's just progression that what, that just what hits every Naruto fans in this episode that we all grew up watching Naruto and 500 episodes later it got to this and <sighs> fuck <laughs> I liked how they kind of like went off and prep up with the Barto series such as when we saw Shino he was um tries to uh, talk to um what's her name um Amakurinai's daughter and the way that he was treating her and it just goes to show that he's going to become a, a teacher which there he is in the, the Barto series and we saw some shippings between Ino and Sai Shikamaru and Tamari they went on and basically quite confirmed that they were actually together at least before you know the marriage and obviously that just goes to show they're all just showing little bit clips of clips to show this major time skip that we're about to get in two more weeks of this series, but guys, I, I'm honestly lost in words. I don't even know if I really want to call this a review. The, the episode was fucking outstanding. That's that's what I can basically just tell you this right now. I grew up with Naruto, and yes, did I cry? I teared up. I teared up. I ain't gonna lie. Last time I teared up like this was years. Just kidding. Last time I teared up was Logan. But anyways... I like the part when they showed the Iruka and Naruto and all Naruto just wanted to do is just go out and just you know have a drink ramen and everything I was surprised when he said drinks like hey you want to get turned up or or, or what <laughs> but then I guess Iruka wasn't standing for it because the way how he was knowing that he's about to get married and this and that but in the end of the day Naruto just wanted to go on and just told him do you want to be the father of of the marriage now, I was quite confused at first, and I think, I'm not entirely sure, but if you guys know this, please let me know in the comments, but I believe what he meant by father, I think in Japan's culture, now I could be wrong, I could be dead wrong about this, but probably in the Japan culture, that probably means that that is just another way of saying the best man, because of course, when you get married, you have to see if you want to have the best man to be by there as you're getting married. And if you think about it, if it is what it is, if it is what I think it is, it is reasonable because who else would Naruto would choose besides Iruka? Sasuke is Sasuke. His parents are not there. Jiraiya is not there. Um, Kakashi's too busy being Hokage. So you would think if anyone, it. It would be Iruka Sensei. So I'm thinking when he made my father, that's just another term of saying, do you want to be the best man of, of my mar of the marriage? So I'm just going to put it down like that. If I am wrong, let me know in the comment section. But, uh, whew. Yeah, I teared up and I don't, I don't know what else to say because I just finished watching the episode. I, I had to wipe tears and shit. <laughs> And then I turned on the mic and I was like, man, how am I, how am I, I normally would script if I would make reviews, but I wanted to get all this just, whatever I just saw. But, uh, 10 out of 10, I think it's been 10 years too, throughout this entire progression of Naruto Shippuden. Thank you, Studio Parrots. That's, that's what I gotta say. Thank you, Studio Parrots, despite 
the, the grueling animation and the fillers over the years, they were stand enough to give us Naruto. Now it doesn't matter whether or not they could be a better company to done a better job than Studio Perry. What matters is they were the ones to pull it through and that's what they did. And despite what I just said earlier just now, the animations, the fillers and everything, etc. They still did what they did and everything still came out good, as I would say. And I gotta be thankful and thanks to the Studio Parrot. And what got me, what got me the most is, of course, the ending of the ending. Not the credits, after the credits, when you see Naruto take off his headband and give it to Boruto. And I was just like... <laughs> feels, feels, feels... That felt like a kunai. That, it feels like a kunai just hit me in the fucking chest feel area. That's, that's how I feel about him. I, I actually can't wait for the Boruto series. I still wonder how is it gonna go knowing that the manga hasn't really started. Knowing that the the recaps of the films has just ended I believe last month. But uh yeah. Naruto she put in has finally ended you guys and I wasn't prepared. I, it's just it's weird if you ask me like normally you would see like a lot of news or a lot of articles or just anything advertised knowing that hey Naruto's ending but it didn't go like that we I actually had to research whether or not was this the final episode because I could have sworn maybe there may be some more episodes after the marriage but no that was it no more and again this might what I just said is just man but I would say one thing that is how you end a shonen a long-running shonen series. I think they actually ended this better than how they would end in Dragon Ball and Dragon Ball Z, I would say. But I'm not. I'm sorry for this weird review. It's just that I'm not good at when it comes to reviewing finales. You know, like I could review a, a regular episode of Samurai Jack or Dragon Ball Super or a regular episode of Naruto, but when it comes to finales, it's like I gotta take. <laughs> pauses like what I'm doing right now I'm not I'm not speaking continuously I'm like speaking and then I'm thinking so I'm pausing and this and that but uh tell me guys how did you end up getting into Naruto me personally I think I watched Naruto when I was in six six or seventh grade and I think that was like 11 or 12 years ago I can't fucking remember it's been a long time but man time flies and they finally got it to its conclusion. Boruto, it is your turn. But um, I'm done talking here, but she put in, well done. Studio Parrot, well done. I just hope the legacy doesn't end. I hope there'll still be more Naruto games coming in the future just to repeat its story. And you guys will never know. We could get a Naruto Kai and we could just get a remastered version of Naruto with no fillers and better animation in the upcoming future. And I wouldn't mind that. I honestly wouldn't mind that. But again, I'm done here. Thank you, thank you, thank you guys for watching this. If you enjoyed this, give me a thumbs up. And if you're new, feel free to subscribe. Um, I am recording this as I'm about to play my subscribers for Stone 4 for the last time in a long time. So... If I kept you guys waiting, because I have people waiting for me right now, so I'm going to stop talking. This is Gil Sensu, and I'll see you guys next time.